Hello, so let us take a look at uh, what uh, closures in JavaScript are. Um, let's uh, basically start uh, with something very simple that we all know. So there's this uh, variable y a equal to 10 and I have a function uh, called uh, print and in that function I am um, going to write rule.log a then I'm going to call the function and uh, if I run that, that is pretty much simple. It prints 10. And because a is a variable defined in our scope that is um, outside uh, the function, so uh, uh, that is uh, printed. Uh, obviously, we can also have a function that is defined, a variable that is inside the scope of the print function, and we'll get the same results. Uh, what's uh, Pretty obvious, and you uh, everybody knows is that if I try to do this, so um, even if whether I call print or not, it does not matter. If I run this, I will get a reference error a is not defined because a was defined inside the function, outside the function, a uh, cannot use a here. But uh, let's take a look at uh, this function and uh, so I have this function uh, count. Uh, and I have a variable uh, then I do is I return a function from here so in JavaScript you can return a function from a function inside this function what I'm going to do is um, Now uh, let's run this count uh, function once. Okay. Um, well, obviously, let's uh, first do this. Say function uh, plus. Okay. And let's call plus from here. Now that's pretty obvious. If we run this, we're going to get uh, so uh, first count gets defined inside count initially set to 1 uh, the function plus is uh, defined and I run the function plus and that's all fine because uh, because plus uh, is supposed to have the scope of initial here but what if instead of calling plus here I return plus okay so first of all if I do that if I run this I don't get any output because running count uh, is just returning me a function so I can call that function by assigning this to a variable I say var c equal to count and then if I call this function c we get 2 uh, so what happened is we return this function uh, which uh, we get here in this value and uh, then we are able to call this function. What happens if I call C again twice? So say two and three gets uh, printed. Um, now, here is something if you have not seen closures before, would seem strange to you because the variable initial was defined within the count function and the scope of this variable should uh, not be present anymore after this line has been executed. So in line 15 and line 16, uh, we are still able to modify the value of initial and this is an example of closure so what happens basically in closure is that uh, any function that is defined inside another function so for example this function is defined within this function so all the variables that are available in the local scope of this outer function is going to be available also to this function and this scope is called the closure scope so when a function gets uh, the scope of its outer functions it's called the closure scope now what uh, does closure scope uh, help us uh, achieve is uh, building a counter uh, like this so uh, our initial i i've set here 
Now, uh, another thing, we can create a custom counter. When this counter counts from one and uh, goes uh, up, uh, we can create a counter like this. So, say function, call this counter, and uh, let's give this a value initial. Okay, and uh, let's say var val equal to initial. Okay, and when we call this uh, function plus uh, we are basically going to uh, print plus plus val okay and we return plus we run this uh, uh, I'm sorry we run this value here 10 around it 11 12 that's uh, what we were able to get uh, now um, instead of doing this uh, uh, var val equal to initial here we can just uh, remove this call the variable as well and if we want this still works so it means that any variable I give uh, as an argument to the function is also available in the closure scope of the internal function okay so um, this uh, gets us uh, to uh, uh, this gives us uh, a lot of capabilities to the JavaScript language, which is we can now write uh, something which uh, looks like this: the uh, function um, counter init val and uh, delta val. Yep. And now I can do is return an object. Okay. Uh, return an object here. This object has got a function. Up. This up function. Uh, logs the value of and it file uh, plus delta val and then prints the value of and it file a similar function like this for going down And now, what we can do is we can do our c equal to create a counter that starts from ten and has delta of two. Now I can do c dot up, c dot up, and c dot down. Run this. So here's what we get. We get a uh, variable c which is basically this object which has been returned from the create counter function takes the init val as 10 and then the up function adds 2 to 10 prints that value so that's 12 we can call up again it adds another 2 prints 14 and then we can call down and we get um, 12 okay now uh, 